Hey my lovelies, today we have got a lot to celebrate. Summer is finally here, we're gearing up for a long weekend, and Google Home is now available in Canada. How great is that? In honor of all of this awesomeness, I have developed five outrageous milkshake recipes that I think you guys are seriously going to love. They are mouthwatering goodness at its finest. Just before we get to all that, I wanted to let you know I've actually teamed up with Google to send three lucky winners their very own Google Home device. This thing is incredible at making life in the kitchen easier. I use it for things like setting timers, measurement conversions, and easy cooking substitutes. I also use it to rock out in the kitchen because of course the tunes always keep me super motivated. Okay Google, crank the tunes. For your chance to win, be sure to check out all of the details in the description box below. Also, I did wanna mention that Google Home and I have teamed up to create a really fun workshop where I'm gonna be sharing some cool kitchen hacks and some great smoothie recipes. So if you're in the Toronto area on July 8th, be sure to come and check it out. I would love to meet you guys in person, take some photos, do a little Q&A. It'll be a total blast. Those details are also in the description box and of course the event is completely free. Now. Without further ado, let us get to some milkshakes. We are kicking things off today with my salted caramel pretzel milkshake. If you've never thought of putting pretzels in a milkshake, I'm about to change your life, people. For this milkshake, I'm getting started with some vanilla ice cream in my blender. To that, I am going to add some caramel sauce, a whole lot of pretzels, and a little sprinkle of salt. Trust me. Salt and caramel are like a match made in heaven. Seriously true. Of course, I'm going to add a good splash of milk because it wouldn't be a milkshake without the milk. I'm gonna put the lid on my blender and give this a whirl. And holy moly, what you end up with is one epic milkshake. I like to top it all off with some whipped cream, a little more caramel sauce, and of course, a pretzel for good measure. Next on our decadence extravaganza, I have got a strawberry shortcake milkshake. This stuff is incredible. This glorious milkshake starts once again with some vanilla ice cream in our blender. To that, I am actually adding a few tablespoons of cake mix. Trust me, this is the real secret to the success of this recipe. For even more of that cakey flavor, I'm also adding some cookies. Now you could use vanilla wafers in this if you wanted to. I'm actually using lady fingers because that's what I had on hand in my cupboard. Next, I am going to add some strawberries, two ways. I've got some strawberries themselves and then I've also got some strawberry sauce. This is the same kind of thing you would pour over a sundae. If you can't find strawberry sauce, not to worry. Strawberry jam is an excellent substitute here. We're going to pour over some milk, put the lid on our blender and blend it up. There you go, strawberry shortcake would be proud. Next guys, I am whipping up an ode to the peanut butter cup. What could be better than that? This one starts with some chocolate ice cream in our blender. To that, I'm adding a few tablespoons of really delicious natural peanut butter. I am also adding a handful of actual peanut butter cups to this. This is optional, but come on, it makes everything a lot more delicious. Next, I'm going to add a little drizzle of fudge for even more chocolatey goodness. I'm going to add a good sprinkle of salt because I think the salt here really helps all of these tasty flavors come out. Finally, I'm going to add a little milk for good measure. And uh, we're just gonna give this all a blend, my friends. I like to finish it off with some whipped cream, a little more chocolate sauce, and of course, a peanut butter cup, because there is no such thing as too many. Am I right? Next, I've got the perfect thing for you banana cream pie enthusiasts. If you want all the deliciousness that is banana cream pie, but of course don't wanna make one yourself, this is the best way to get your fix. I'm starting with my vanilla ice cream in my blender. To that, I'm going to add a banana, of course. And then I am putting in some pudding. Vanilla pudding mix, to be exact. This really, really helps amp up the banana cream pie flavor in this recipe. I am also adding a couple graham crackers for good measure. That's the crust of our banana cream pie. And then I am going to pour some milk in. Let's put the lid on our blender and uh, give this a whirl, shall we? And there you go, banana cream pie for one. Delicious, cool, and extra creamy thanks to that vanilla pudding mix. This stuff is bananas. 
Finally, my loves, we are making a maple waffle milkshake. Now I know what you're thinking, Sarah Lynn, you're nuts. But trust me, this is one of those things, do not knock it until you have tried it. So it starts with some vanilla ice cream, some super melty vanilla ice cream if you're in my house and it's 90 degrees. Woo! To that, I am adding some waffle. Now, this is just a frozen waffle that I've actually allowed to thaw so it's softened up a little bit. I didn't bother throwing it through the toaster. I've also got some butter. Yes, the butter is going in the blender. And of course, we're gonna finish this all off with a good drizzle of maple syrup. I'm going to top this all with my milk, put the lid on my blender, and things are about to get real exciting. This, of course, is next to perfect just the way it is. But if you're like me and you are committed to making things even better, you can go ahead and top this with some whipped cream and some freshly chopped bacon bits. Guys, I would seriously feel waffle if you did not try this one for yourself. In fact, I would love for you to try all five of them and let me know how they turn out. Tweet me, Instagram me, or Snapchat me a photo because I adore seeing your kitchen creations. Keep in mind, I am giving away three Google Home devices to three lucky winners. Contest details are in the description box below, but what I'm actually looking for is a comment telling me what your favorite kitchen hack is. Leave those in the comments for your chance to win. And finally, if you have not already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from. I promise, healthier deliciousness than this. I may have gotten a little carried away.